Are you worried that you have a low CGPA and questioning yourself whether you should apply for any universities in the United States uh, and you are even going to get an admission? Don't you even worry about it. There are some universities which I have found recently and even with the low CGPA, they are offering the admissions and you can apply for these universities considered as a good universities. So let's straight away go to the list of the universities that you can apply for without any fear of not getting an admission. Hi everyone, I'm Shravya Pridigari. I do videos on agriculture related courses, assistantships and everything related to agriculture in the United States. So if you are someone who is looking for this kind of information, then go check out my channel and hit that subscribe button so that you can get notifications whenever I upload a video. Now. Let's go into the list of the universities. The first one is the University of Maine and the college which is related to the agriculture is College of Natural Science, Forestry and Agriculture. The CGPA required for this university to apply is two out of four and the acceptance rate for this university is almost 95%. The IELTS score required for this university is 6.5 and the tuition fee that you're going to pay is around fifteen to sixteen thousand dollars per year. So these are some of the details of this university and also the main important thing here to consider is the university ranking. The USA National University ranking for this university is between 201 to 250 which is not a bad thing and it is also considered as one of the good universities Personally, I would say that because this is a state university, according to me, any state university is a good university because these are all public universities. So this one is a public university. The second one is West Texas A&M University. Don't get confused with Texas A&M universities because there are a lot of different campuses. So keep that in mind. So this one is West Texas A&M University. For this university also, the CGPA required is 2 out of 4 and the national university ranking of this university is 57, which is a better university when compared to the University of Maine, which I have discussed previously. The acceptance rate for this university is also about 95%, which is around like 97%, so almost too good acceptance rate. And the IELTS score is also less, so you just need to get only 6 to get an admission into this, uh, into any of this program. The tuition fee for this university is $8,000 per semester which is around like sixteen thousand dollars per year which is uh, around the same uh, line of university of maine third university is arkansas state university and the cgpa required for this university to apply uh, is 2.7 out of four the national university ranking for this university is 300 to 490 uh, which is also considered as good score so for this university, the acceptance rate is around like 70% and the IELTS score that you need to get is 6.5. But specifically for this university, the individual score of spoken band, which is like a speaking test, it has to be uh, 7 or above to get an admission or even to apply for this university, which is kind of tricky. So keep attention with the details of what the university is asking because like for example, for this university, it is specifically asking for a seven band only for the speaking test. So it depends on the university to university, but most of the universities, uh, they ask for either 6, 6.5 or 7 overall score and they don't usually mention like what specific scores or bands you need to get for each individual test that you give in IELTS but for this university particularly they are asking 7 for spoken band. The tuition fee is around like $12,000 per year, which is like in the same range of University of Maine and uh, West Texas A&M University. The last university that can be considered if you are having a low CGPA is North Carolina State University with a minimum CGPA of 2 out of 4. Uh, this university national ranking is 72, which is like below 100, which is considered as like according to me, it is considered as a good university and I know like uh, some of the students, like mainly Indian students 
who are actually studying agriculture mainly for the turf grass because I have studied turf grass in University of Maryland. So I know some people who are doing their master's and PhD in turf grass in North Carolina State University. So I would also suggest going into this university and the best part is even if you have like a low um, GPA in your bachelor's then you don't need to worry but you can get into a very good university like this so this is the advantage so like this I would say you have to go search for yourself like which universities are having or accepting the applications even with a low CGPA but are very good universities where you can apply and you can get an admission and after that uh, you can explore so many different options but the acceptance rate for the North Carolina State University is less than 50 percent which is 47.5 uh, the range is around 50 uh, percent which means the competition is high so you need to be very careful when submitting your application packet because there is high chances of rejection like it's like 50 50 percent chance for this university the IELTS score that you need to get or is required is 6.5 or above tuition fee is 15,000 to 16,000 dollars per year so, these are the four different universities which you can consider if you're having GPA of less in your bachelor's and are considering to apply. I'm not saying there are any other universities which accept uh, you even with a less CGPA, but this particularly they have mentioned them uh, in their websites. So highly encourage you to go and apply for all the universities which you are having in your mind and also email to professors in your interested area and also your interested in university. This will give you an idea of what exactly is happening uh, in different universities and also uh, you never know like which professor accepts you uh, with uh, the knowledge that you have and with the passion that you have uh, for towards the subject. So that's how even I got my admission into Turfgrass program because I did only like uh, I think uh, one course in my master's in India but I had like a huge interest on Turfgrass. Everyone discouraged me. Uh, I mean is it even possible to get a master's in a Turfgrass which is completely related to Turf but uh, I never gave up because I had that interest in my mind uh, and I gave interviews and that's how I got uh, uh, my master's and also I completed my master's. So yeah, uh, this is about this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, Shravya signing off. Bye.